the besieged governor of Alabama is battling his political enemies, a broadening sex scandal, and his own isolation. New details on Governor Robert Bentley's alleged affair with his former aide Rebecca Mason revealed in an article in GQ magazine. According to GQ, Bentley's wife Diane started to take notes on his increasingly standoffish behavior toward her in 2013. That led to Diane Bentley secretly recording a conversation on her iPhone, a call where Governor Bentley is heard apparently speaking to Mason. When I stand behind you and I, and I, and I put my arms around you and I put my hands on your breast and, and I put my hands on you and just and pull you in real close, I, hey, I, I love that too. GQ reports Diane Bentley confronted her husband about the conversation, and, and he denied a relationship. But a few weeks later, according to the magazine, Governor Bentley accidentally sent his wife a text with a red rose emoji and the word Rebecca. <laughs> GQ says that prompted Diane Bentley to tell her grown sons her suspicions about Rebecca Mason. The sons got nowhere when they confronted their father, according to GQ, so they took it a step further. They decided to confront um, Rebecca, and they did that by going to her parents, and they showed up on her parents' doorstep one night and confronted them, and her parents were, of course, taken aback by this, so they called Rebecca, and Rebecca rushed over, and there was a confrontation then. One former state law enforcement official says he then warned Bentley in vain to break off the alleged affair. Governor Bentley called me on my cell phone and stated that he could not go through with it and end the relationship with Ms. Mason. Even the governor's staff tried hard to shield the alleged affair from the public, according to GQ, but the governor wasn't as careful. People told me that he would, you know, rest his hand on Rebecca Mason's thigh during meetings and she would wipe food off his face. GQ reports Bentley bought a pickup truck that he'd used to slip his security detail, that his security officers would sometimes catch up to him alone at a pond where it was assumed he'd been with Mason. Bentley's now accused by a former state law enforcement officer of using state resources to cover up his relationship. The governor has admitted to inappropriate conversations, but he and Rebecca Mason have denied an affair. I have never had a physical affair with Mrs. Mason. I can assure the people of Alabama that as their governor, I have never done anything illegal. But tonight, there are impeachment proceedings pending against Governor Bentley. His wife, Diane, divorced him last year. And GQ reports he is completely alone in the governor's mansion. He doesn't speak to his family, and he hasn't even met his most recently born grandchild. Neither the governor's office, Mrs. Bentley, nor Rebecca Mason have responded to CNN's inquiries. We did reach one of the Bentley's sons today on the phone, and he hung up on us.